Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my channel TechnoCube, and you are in the series of fundamental of cybersecurity, and we are and we are doing port scanning, right? In the previous session, you had seen uh, XMAS scan, null scan, fin scan, and TCP scan. So all scan that we did uh, in our previous session, they are using complete TCP, right? They are using complete three-way handshake and three-way handshake for connection, uh, 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 terminate the connection. Okay, they are using complete TCP here there so it is somehow you know uh, it's a it's a good idea but uh, from the perspective of cyber security or for a, a target system if target system had used a firewall or ids then there might be a possibility that they can find you right uh, they can find the attacker so what i mean to say is if uh, this target system which is here that you are targeting this target system has a layer on it of a firewall if there is a layer uh, one more uh, let me take here this is a target and there is a layer of firewall here then it is somehow uh, not reasonable to use you know the complete tcp so this complete tcp by means of complete tcp it is using you know all uh, connection establishment that is uh, connection establishment and uh, connection uh, termination Right. So you had seen connection establishment in the way of TCP scan, uh, where we have send, send, send ACK and ACK. Whereas in connection terminate, uh, we had used a fin packet, right? So both this thing are going to be understand by this firewall. And definitely this thing is going to be again blocked by, uh, you know, this uh, firewall. So this is not going to be accept by your firewall. Again, going to uh, uh, discard it this, right? Because you are using the complete TCP here. So it's not a good idea to do this. Right. So instead of this, if I'm using the complete TCP and there is a rule for it, if there is a rule in the firewall that please, if you see any 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 complete TCP packet coming to my target, then please drop it, right? If there is a rule written in firewall, then what I can do, I can use something like, I can divide this, I can split this complete TCP into some fragment. So instead of using this thing, now I'm using something else, I can use I can use something called as fragment scan now okay it's a fragment scan and not a complete tcp scan so it is a fragment tcp scan so instead of a, a com sending a complete tcp header i'm sending the division now okay the idea is to split up the tcp header over several packets so it is going to be very complex for a target firewall to understand okay it, it is not going to be very simple so it is going to be make make it harder for packet filter or ids or any other annoyances to understand this scan right so just to make mo more complex we are doing the fragment scan so it is a very simple idea the, the idea is just to uh, send instead send instead of a complete tcp uh, you can send fragment tcp here fragment tcp you're sending a fragment tcp so in this fragment tcp what i'm gonna do is so a complete uh, so a complete okay, i'm so sorry so a complete uh, 20 byte or a minimum length of tcp so minimum whatever the minimum length of tcp header is there is going to be split uh, in three packets okay here the fragment the fragment scan is going to split the complete tcp header into three fragments uh, the first uh, two uh, two packets are going to be with uh, eight bytes uh, and one packet is going to be uh, with four bytes right this is the idea of fragmentation so this is how the fragmentation is going to be happen fragmentation of tcp header right so it's a 20 byte header minimum length so we can uh, divide this thing two packets with 8 bit and one packet with uh, 4 byte so it is 8 8 16 plus 4 20 so 20 byte header i'm splitting and then i'm this uh, then i'm you know this three packet is going to be reached to the firewall and firewall is having the rule for complete tcp but doesn't have a rule for fragment scan i can definitely scan the firewall is there any uh, port uh, 2021 20, open for me or not okay this is what i'm gonna do in this session so let's get back to the kali machine and instead of xp machine i have now uh, ubuntu with me 
uh, another Linux distro. And uh, so instead of a 21 port number, uh, I'm using a port 22. You see port 22 is specifically meant for SSH connection. Uh, what do you mean by SSH? Uh, well, SSH is a secure shell. A secure shell is meant for uh, a remote connection, encrypted remote connection. Like if you are sitting here currently and uh, in some location and your uh, remote uh, server may be at some uh, remote uh, location and if you want to connect to that server then you cannot uh, send the packets or the connection packet like in a plain text, right? You need some encrypted connection uh, or an encrypted packet to send it to the uh, remote server. So to do that we have a SSH, okay? So the line, the complete line between you and your remote server is going to be secure, okay? It is going to be secure shell. So this is how a uh, secure shell, uh, you know, works. So it is having a port 22 and I had opened that port here in this uh, Ubuntu machine. So let me scan it here. The scan for fragment scan is nmap dash F and dash. Uh, so now it is not 21, it is 22. And the IP address is going to be changed now 168.117.128. All right. So this is my fragment scan. And when I hit enter, you will see that the port is open for me. 22 port number it's a tcp port it is open and the service is ssh okay so that's correct i mean it is open now uh, so this is how you know fragment scan gonna work now sir next question is how can i find this how a network administrator or a security person can find this fragment scan okay uh, well uh, there are various ways to do it um, uh, to do this i need to have a wireshark again so let me call uh, Wireshark. So in this Wireshark, as I told you that three packets are going to be there, uh, two with fragmented IP and one with, uh, uh, you know, TCP, the four byte and two eight byte. So let me see this. So I am on ETH zero. So I'm going to double click and one more time I'm going to check this. So here I uh, grab that, uh, you know, this fragment scan in the Wireshark. So you can see here that there is uh, something called as fragment IP. Can you see this? fragment ip protocol fragment ip protocol and then there is a 22 sin now this is this is actually uh, you know something interesting uh, is going over here there is a sin sin ack and then reset packet this is a three way uh, handshake is going it is not completed but it is somehow you know something fishy here so i if i double click here if i double click on this tcp you see when i go to this tcp protocol when i go to this it, it will tell me something what it will tell you see in options in tcp options uh, i'm so sorry not at here in the flag these are flags there is a sin flag because uh, it is a sin let me see with uh, uh, internet protocol yeah here in the IP protocol, you see here, uh, let me just uh, make it lower here. You see here in the in the IP protocol, internet protocol version 4, you see there it is written 3 IPv4 fragment. Are you seeing this? So here it is written frame 5, frame 6 and frame 7 here. So frame 5, frame 6 and frame 7. This is important. I mean see frame 5 is a fragmented IP. All right. So it is, where is it? It is from 130 to 128, which is my uh, Ubuntu machine. So it's of 8 byte, it's of 8 byte, and it is going to be for 4 byte. So let's see. Fragmented IP, if I open, the I have a frame of 42 bytes. If I minus 42 minus 14, if I do, then uh, the 14 is for this Ethernet frame, then you will get 28 length. You see. So every time you do the fragmented fragment scan, the total length of a data is going to be 28. Every time you will get a 28 length. So if I further move on 28, and then if I do like 28 minus 24, uh, sorry, I think it's 20, I guess. 28 minus, uh, if I do 20 for this TCP, uh, for the TCP header, if I minus it, then you will get 8 bytes. So as I told you that it is going to be, you know, the first two packet are going, going to be of 8 bytes. So this is one 8 byte. Let me go for uh, frame 6. This is also fragmented IP, same. 42 minus 14, it's 28. So you'll get 28 here. And then you will go for TCP. It's going to be minus 20. And then you'll get again 8 byte here. So this is uh, like 8 by 8 by 16 byte. You'll get 
Now, if you go for this SIN packet here, which is a TCP, so 42 minus 14, it's a 28, so you got 28, so it's it's again a it's again a fragmented IP. So you are getting here. Uh, 28 minus if you do like uh, I guess 24 if you do uh, then you will get a 4 byte here so there is a length of 4 byte you can see there is a 4 byte in options so uh, the last packet is a 4 byte so it's 8 plus 8 16 plus 4 20 bytes so it's a complete TCP header here can you see this so this is how you can uh, find that someone is doing fragmented scan on my computer so it's a defensive mechanism that you can do all right apart from that uh, uh, what you can do is you can also look after this TCP. You are having SINs and ACK and RESIT packet. Okay, so you, is, is the uh, the uh, Kali machine is saying I'm I want to terminate the connection now. It is not acknowledging this SIN ACK. It is just directly terminating the connection. Okay, so this is the you know this is the thing that you need to look after uh, when someone is uh, doing the fragmented scan. I hope uh, you understand this. So if you understand it, then uh, please. Uh, uh, you know, so it is it is also written here somewhere reassembled IPv4 in frame 7. So can you see it is reassembling at this TCP? Okay, at this TCP it is reassembling. So this is fragmented, this is fragmented, but it is reassembled here on the seventh packet. So seventh packet is of TCP which is sending the send. It is a connection establishment packet, it is saying. Okay, so this is also an important observation you can look after. All right, so this is all about the uh, fragment scan and uh, oh yeah one more thing i can i can tell you uh, so let's say uh, let's say if i want to you know uh, if i want to close this if i want to uh, if this ubuntu uh, wants to make some firewall and uh, wants to close this uh, uh, i mean want to drop this uh, this nmap scan which i had performed here dash fragment scan if we, if you want to reject this if you want to drop this this connection this nmap port scan then he can use something called as firewall uh, for ubuntu i have an ip table so here uh, you know the problem is for the length so based on the length you know based on the length based on the length this fragment is entering into the target system this is the important observation you are seeing because of the length it is it is entering into this tcp uh, sorry in the target system so length is the factor here what if I create a rule based on this length, okay? And when I create a create a rule based on length, then I can you know somehow drop this packet also, right? So let me create a rule for uh, you know this uh, uh, this this fragment scan. So I can use something called as IP table here. So the syntax uh, for uh, Ubuntu uh, for IP tables it's it's sudo um, IP tables uh, dash uh, I, I'm sorry, dash I for in dash I for input, uh, dash P for protocol, uh, it's a TCP protocol, then M for dash M for length, and then dash dash what length uh, you know uh, you want to provide. So I can say that length should be a 60. If you find any 60 byte uh, you know a frame, then you just have to drop it. So I can say dash J to have a result on it. So re result is a reject reject that packet with uh, the options reject dash with a tcp reset so this is the thing and i hit enter uh, one two three and uh, i put no change target match by that name uh, i think uh, there is some mistake i had provided oh yeah input is the wrong keyword here so let me just change the keyword in it's an input right so when I hit enter, you see my rule is being accepted by the IP tables. So whenever a firewall look after this length 60 byte uh, of a frame, then it is going to be rejected. I can also, uh, I can do the variations here. So let me see 60 byte is enough for this uh, scan or not. So instead of open, now I want a closed connection for SSH. Let me do this. So again do. And you will see it is open yet. So this uh, dash F is not going on 60 byte. It is maybe going on because it is going on 42 and 44. So maybe if I do like uh, 60 instead of 60, if I do like 44, uh, let me do for, for 40 also. Uh, maybe I can do for uh, 42 as well. If I do that, and now if I use the same NMAP scan, let me just clear the screen so that you can 
uh, visualize it. Uh, this is the scan. Now you see the TCP of the port 22, it means the SSH service, it is closed by the firewall. So in this way, you can, you know, you can create a firewall so that you can block such fragment or some advanced port scanning. Okay, you can block in, in this manner. So this is one rule. Uh, this is for a reject option if you want to enable this, right? If you, you do not want to do this like for uh, every, um, you know, connection, you have to <laughs> enable it. So if there is a reject, you can do something like accept to make it, uh, you know, open uh, once again. So you can undo this uh, by typing the same thing. Uh, let me have uh, instead of uh, J uh, reject, I just, I'm just going to do that accept. Uh, for uh, 42, um, I've just repeated for 44, uh, except, and then I'm gonna do for the same thing for 40. I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, 60, and it is accepted. Okay, so let me uh, one more time scan it to make it open. You see, it is open now. SSH open. Are you getting it? So this is a fragment scan. We had seen, you know, how to scan with the fragment scan, uh, and then we had seen in the Wireshark how to grab this fragment scan in the Wireshark by the you know some network administrator uh, then we had seen some firewall rules to uh, close this ssh connection I, I mean if you want to drop that fragment scan then how can you drop it right we had seen three uh, rules of ip tables with the help of option length right so this is the thing that we had seen if you like it please hit that like button uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. If you have any doubt, you can have a comment uh, section. You can drop that comment there. I'm going to uh, help there. All right. So thank you so much, guys. And we'll see you in the next session. Thank you.